What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be discussing the upcoming title Dakar 18. This is a highly anticipated title that is due to release September 11th, 2018 on Xbox One, PS4, and the PC. Recently, the guys over at Big Moon Entertainment reached out to me and granted me access to some exclusive behind the scenes content, and I've spent the last couple of days studying gameplay footage, press videos, B-roll footage, as well as some other items in attempt to get a grip on what the game may actually have to offer those of us in the hardcore simulation community. After taking a good look, here is what I have found so far. Dakar 18 appears to be playable with either a gamepad or a force feedback wheel. While I can only assume it will have compatibility with most major wheel manufacturers on the market, the only wheel I can officially confirm at the moment is a Thrustmaster T500 being seen used here in the press video. I would imagine though that there will be compatibility with all Thrustmaster, Fnatic, and Logitech wheels and more than likely some direct drive offerings in the mix as well. Here you can also see that Dakar 18 offers triple screen support, so that will be nice for those of you who want to be able to see the stunning scenery off to the sides as well as out in front of you. The title takes place in an expansive and absolutely beautiful open world. However, it appears that the actual races take place on individual stages that are scattered across the environment. At this time, it is unclear whether you'll be able to move freely from one stage to another without being interrupted by a loadout screen. I'm also unsure how far you can actually travel off of a stage before you are greeted with an imaginary wall of some sort. Hopefully that will not be the case, but it is hard to tell for now. The developers have said that if you do not follow the navigation system correctly, you can easily get lost and it can be quite difficult to find your way back on track. Speaking of the navigation system, the game is equipped with a very advanced system that must be learned if you want to complete stages in a timely and safe manner. I have a feeling though that this system will have a steep learning curve and could possibly put off some casual players. Luckily though, it does appear that there is a rookie mode that will add an extra indicator if you veer off course, helping you find your way back. The devs made it very clear though that this is only for rookies and there is no such thing being used by real Dakar competitors. This is just a helper for rookies and it isn't used by real rally competitors. They want this title to be as close to the real thing as possible and this is a very clear indicator of that. Speaking of being realistic, one of my worst pet peeves about an off-road driving simulator is the inability to get stuck. Nothing gripes my nerves worse than when I can drive a rear-wheel drive car on street tires through a mud puddle and make it through as if I was on the stickiest piece of asphalt you've ever seen in your life. Luckily, this does not appear to be the case in Dakar 18. It does seem that weather and rain will play a huge factor in your vehicle's performance, and even these race rally ready vehicles can in fact get stuck if you choose the wrong path. You can actually get so stuck that you will have to ask another driver for assistance to pull you out with a tow strap. In my opinion, the car and truck physics seem to have improved a lot, but the bike and the ATV physics seem to still be far from finished. Also, I am unsure how the wheel will transfer over if you decide to get out of a car and hop onto a bike. Will you be forced to pick up a controller or will they implement wheel use in some way? Hopefully we'll find out that information very soon. I'm going to continue to dig through this content to see what else I can find out and hopefully at some point they will allow me to get my hands on and drive the title before it releases so I can answer some additional questions that I actually have. I'll remain in contact with Big Moon as they finish up development and get the title ready for release. If you have any additional questions you would like me to ask them, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to see if I can get it answered for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this first look into Dakar 18. I hope to have much more content of Dakar 18 coming very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video.